This is Halcyon News. We interrupt your regularly scheduled advertisement for the following story. Do you have what it takes to defend your corporate township from the dangers of Good law, the heat in here is so unbearable, I can hardly even concentrate. Talk to your local June Lay better hurry up with those damn repairs already. And lend your life to protecting our wonderful brands and products. Military service does not guarantee... <laughs> Betting on the toss ball series? I know you were trying to stop. CNP Borston Baked Beans. When you need to eat lunch, Borston Baked Beans is the only <laughs> Good luck getting to Jesse, and better luck if you do. She's a real piece of work.
I hear scary things about Monarch. This is Halcyon Doom. You've returned, and in one piece. Color me impressed. Good work. I'll take those. I need you to head through the large door at the far end of engineering. Take the elevator down into the machinery shaft. There's a terminal in the back. Activate it when I call over the ship's PA. And bring weapons. There's a slight mantipillar infestation. More than a few. Less than a hive. Nothing you can't handle. We were salvaging parts from a ship. Turned out there were eggs inside. They got into the radiators and here we are. tells me the security mechanicals have up and killed a bunch of mantis. Bad news. Diagnostic says their circuit boards are fused from the heat, so they're not too picky about who they kill next.
Sweeping the area. This is Halcyon News. We interrupt your regularly scheduled advertisement for the following story. Tossball finals are scheduled to air... My boards are returning to green. What a weight that is off my shoulders. I don't normally tolerate outsiders mucking about in my station's guts, but you're all right. 
The temperature should be dropping as we speak. I'll see to it the crew knows who kept us all from boiling alive. If you've got time, I believe Edna has a comms issue that could use your attention. I've also authorized Doc and Furu to sell you our premium meds. Hey, you the one who fixed those radiators? Nice work. You really saved our buns. Whenever you're free, let's have a chat. You aiming to send a message? If so, we best do it now while we still got time. Me? No. But our relaying capabilities? That's on the final countdown. We're going offline in three... two... one and a half... no. Wait, I've lost track of my weeks. Maybe it was 36 or... uh... sometime dire soon. Our primary relay station soon to be occluded by a gas giant. Happens every 40 years or thereabouts. The events forecasted to last for months, during which we'll lose signal to the station. We've got backup auxiliary relays, but the one currently in orbital range went offline some months ago. We can't spare people for routine maintenance. Yeah, I'm working on it. I finally got the chief to approve the budget for a diagnostic expedition. But allocating the personnel loss for sending a technical team to the relay station keeps getting denied by Junlei. Um, the chief. I should say no, but why not? Maybe you can figure out why it's offline. I'll send you with an equipment manual. Hopefully we'll get lucky or I'll get my approval in time. Oh, and I'll need you to retrieve a copy of the relay's backup data. I gotta forward any messages from Earth stored in the memory. Better late than never, eh? It's not like they're in high demand. Most tend to be adverts on new products, meaning only folks in Byzantium can afford them. I'm sure the station's got a stack of junk messages just waiting for me to sort through. If it's not a life or death problem, I've got more important repairs to do. June Lay is about the only thing holding this leaky old wreck together. Groundbreaker may be a leaky piece of shit, but she's our leaky piece of shit. If this is about the leak on level 14, I already know. This is Halcyon News. We interrupt your regularly scheduled advertisement. P. Borstwurst. It's not the worst, unless it's Borstwurst. Can't say I've seen you before. I take it you're a freighter, Captain? If you're here to better yourself, you'll have to wait. We're having a spot of trouble with our delivery service. Sure is. You need a deft hand to straighten a busted nose or sparkle up those not-so-pearly whites? I'm your gal. 
course, there's not much cosmetic improvement going on at the moment, not without my mechanicals. Where the law is Irian anyway? Sure. How do you think we keep this pile of junk in the sky? It costs bits, and a little prettying up brings in a fair few of them. Or it would, if I had my dang mechanicals. I'm expecting our delivery fellow to stop through with medical supplies and service auto mechanicals. Name's Captain Erion. A brave idiot with a penchant for getting himself delayed. Sometimes by dates, usually by bandits. Surgery, mostly. Medical personnel are difficult to come by on Groundbreaker. The board won't let their doctors and nurses station here, and they own all the medical schools. If we can't hire their people, we can't hire anyone. Everyone on staff here on Groundbreaker was trained by me or Idris. We're good, don't get me wrong. But we've only two heads between us, and we don't know everything. I'd be grateful if you'd spare the time. We need his delivery soon as yesterday. Last he told me, he was taking a shortcut by Scylla, an asteroid in the Charybdis Cluster. That's where I'd start, were I the adventuring type. You look out, though. A place is probably crawling with outlaws. I can't hardly think with Dr. Fenhill's yelling. Good luck getting to Jesse, and better luck if you do. She's a real piece of work. <laughs> <laughs> 